The Sunday Business Page is brought to you by Fregasso Financial Advisors. We guide for life. Good morning. Welcome to the Sunday Business Page. I'm John Delano. This morning, how Carlo University and the Community College of Allegheny County, CCAC, are collaborating to improve students' access to Carlo bachelor's and associate's degrees. Carlo President Dr. Suzanne Mellon and CCAC President Dr. Quentin Bullock will join us with the details. Then another local university is celebrating the opening of a brand new multi-million dollar event center for sporting events, concerts, and other venues. We'll hear why the Robert Morris University UPMC Event Center could change the face of that institution, its athletics, and student life. And then why taking the census is critical to the economic survival of our country and our community. We'll tell you how you might be able to get a job helping the census count our population. It's all next right here on the Sunday Business Page. This is the Sunday Business Page on KDKA TV. And a very good morning to you. Thanks for spending part of your Sunday morning with us. For Pittsburgh's Carlo University and the Community College of Allegheny County, CCAC, exciting times are coming for students. Carlo and CCAC have agreed to enter into what is called a reverse transfer credit agreement that will allow CCAC students who decide to transfer to Carlo to earn both a bachelor's degree and an associate degree. What will this agreement mean to both institutions and their students? We're so pleased to welcome back Dr. Suzanne Mellon, president of Carlo University, and Dr. Quentin Bullock, president of Community College of Allegheny County, to the Sunday business page. Presidents, <laughs> I'm so lucky I'm in the presence of two presidents. Thank you so much for Thank being you, on the show. We appreciate Delighted it. Delighted to be here. Let me start, Suzanne, with you. What is a, it's a reverse credit agreement? What's reverse a transfer a credit agreement. And what it is uh, simply is to really address the needs of students in today's um, environment. So students that, that start at CCAC as, as community college students, but they have plans to really transfer to a four-year institution like Carlo, that they're, when they transfer, if they haven't completed their associate, de uh, associate degree at CCAC, the credits that they earn at Carlo can transfer back to help them gain that associate degree at CCAC. So in many ways, they're completing both an associate degree and on their path to being a bachelor's degree. And so it's a win-win for both of our institutions and it's a win-win for the right. student because it allows them to be making more money at the same time. And we really want to do, how do we make it easier for the students to really facilitate their learning and completing what they want to do? You know, uh, I'm going to come back to what it means, but mm -hmm. uh, Quentin, uh, you know, CCAC, I can't sing the praises yeah. enough of CCAC. Yeah. And I am familiar somewhat because my son, who graduated from Miami University of Ohio, got credits at CCAC that were transferable to this Ohio University. So I know the role that CCAC mm -hmm. plays. It's not a four-year academic institution, but those two years can be really mm -hmm. fundamentally important, can't they? Absolutely. Many students choose the community college as their point of access mm -hmm. to higher education with goals to either go directly into the workplace or to transfer to a four-year college or university. It's important for the community college because we want to also be a part of the student's success. Their certification and or their associate's degree. When a student has earned 30 credits and they transfer to a four-year college such as Carlo University, they're continuing their studies, they're earning credits, so this is an opportunity for us to ensure that students are getting that credit transferred back to CCAC mm -hmm. to earn the associate's degree or the other credential as well as continue mm -hmm. their studies at Carlo to earn their four-year degree. Let me ask you, Dr. Bullock, how many of your students go, on, go beyond the two years associate's degree? Do you have a number who are looking for programs mm -hmm. like this? Yes, about 30% of our students transferred to a four-year college or university following graduation. About a third. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And we That's have good. worked very closely with Carla University through a variety of initiatives through a joint admissions with our nursing program, mm -hmm. as well as with their social work and education mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. So students do see Carlo mm -hmm. as an excellent uh, next step. And also because Carlo has many similar uh, services that we offer mm -hmm. to support students with the additional supplemental work that they need right. to be successful. Yeah, and Dr. Mellon, let me ask you then, how many of your students are Shall we call them transfer students mm -hmm. who come in to your university from either CCAC or other institutions? That's a great question, John. The, the, the students that are in higher education today, 50% graduate from Carlo are transfer students. 50%. 50%. So it shows you the breadth mm. of students that will start at a community college and then complete their bachelor's degree or then maybe go on to a master's degree or above. So those are all important and it's really providing access so that students along whatever path they, they start out can really complete their goals and then be working in the community and making contributions back to the community. I, I want to come back to this point because I think both of you have made it. If you have an associate's degree mm -hmm. that does help you work yes. mm -hmm. so that you can work while you're also finishing up a, right. a, a bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. is that the whole idea? Of, mm -hmm. Because some people might say, why do I need both an associate's degree and a mm -hmm. bachelor's degree? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the uh, important elements is to also show the community college's <coughs> growth in retention and graduation. Mm -hmm. When a student starts at the community college and does not uh, <coughs> graduate, we don't get that number. So right. it would appear that the community college's graduation completion rate is not uh, high ah. because many mm -hmm. students store mm -hmm. there they are counted as an official student the reverse transfer will now give us that added uh, credit mm -hmm. for a student completing their studies I gotcha yeah and it's, it works for you too obviously it does but um, th at least with how graduation rates are counted now in the United States they're only <laughs> counting it for four-year universities when they enter as freshmen and when they graduate in four and or six years. So they really technically, your graduation rates don't count the transfer <coughs> number as much. So that needs to change at a national level right. for that. But it does make a difference because students then have a point of success that they've completed. Mm -hmm. um, they've completed a degree. And frankly, I think it makes them feel like I, it helps them to continue that process of continuing on their education, which is really lifelong in today's world. Now, is a program like this uh, used in, uh, with other universities? Uh, Quentin, have you been using it CCAC with other universities in the area? We have worked very closely with the other colleges, first in establishing a seamless transfer articulation agreement. And we have been working with University of Pittsburgh for the reverse transfer, and our goal is to connect with the other colleges within the region for the reverse transfer. Well, it sure sounds like a win-win for mm -hmm. students and for the universities right. and colleges involved. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing with us more about this information. As I say, uh, I, I actually have connections to both universities. My mother was once a professor there, yeah. so, and CCAC yeah. has meant a lot to our family. Yeah. So thank you both for sharing right. with us. Next on the Sunday Business page, why Robert Morris University also has plenty of reason to celebrate. The story of the new UPMC Event Center and what this will mean to RMU. Stick with us.